that hurt you guys tonight? I mean, the, the two biggest things, uh, you know, they're pretty glaring and pretty obvious where we're fouling too much. Uh, and, you know, the second chance uh, opportunities were, were the difference in the game. Um, I mean, you're talking about, uh, you know, a close game on the road and uh, I believe it was 23 to five difference and an extra opportunity points. Um, that's tough to overcome. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a problem right now. You know, us uh, being able to finish our defense, uh, well, at least the last three games, uh, that, that has not been good enough. What's the challenge? You say that's a problem rebounding. What's the challenge in that when, when you're switching and sometimes you find smaller guys on? No, that's, that's not an excuse. We've, we've done that, you know, long enough. Um, we had missed blockouts, uh, you know, guys running into open space uh, and not enough extra efforts in traffic. Uh, you know, we had been building a very good defense uh, and even our, our rebounding was, was coming around. Um, the last three games, we have not uh, finished our def defense well and we've paid the price for it. Thanks, Bob. And next, we'll go to uh, Ira Winterman. Eric, you went through a bunch of different combinations, including the first half, Precious and Nemanja together. In the second half, you started uh, Struess and Vincent in the fourth quarter. Is it a matter of just trying to search for something right now? And no, find I, I, I would say in the, in, the, in the fourth quarter, I mean, that, that third quarter was uh, very unusual, the, the amount of fouling that um, – or the amount of fouls that were called, and, and we were deep into um, foul trouble. It was not something, you know, that was, was – uh, Normal. We had Trevor uh, Bam with four fouls, and Jimmy had to come out uh, at that point. Um, and knowing, you know, their ability to draw fouls going down the stretch, uh, you know, we were just uh, trying to get some good quality minutes there at the, the beginning of the fourth. Uh, Bam closed seven of eight from the field. Is he being too differential when he has it going and has those opportunities? Should there be more there? No, it's not about scoring. Mm -hmm. And and. You know that that's the the hard thing in the in this uh, league um, is that what that's the immediate thing people look at is is you know how many points does somebody score? Bam has so many things um, that are important for him to do for us to be successful, and scoring is one of them. Facilitating is another one. Screening is another. Uh, defending and and uh, communicating our defense and finishing off our defense. Uh, all of these things. Um, you know, I think he was in a, in a great flow. I think he was uh, off to a, a great game. And then the foul trouble, you know, really, uh, really um, sidelined him a little bit earlier than, than we all would have liked. And, uh, and those, were, those were tough calls, too, as well. Bam did a great job with technique, knowing how to defend without fouling. Sorry. Uh, and then last one for me, um, the bench has been outscored in a few games recently. Tonight, Goran had a nice game, but really nothing else. Is Tyler just sort of going through a little rough patch right now? Is there anything you can do there? And how concerning is it that opposing benches have done that? Yeah, we, just, we have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not something that we can ignore, you know, at this point. Uh, we, we get production uh, from uh, different guys at different times uh, on our bench, um, but it's about that unit really producing um, and, and moving the needle. And that, that's what we have to figure out.